This is a super middleweight contest between boxing out of the black shorts with red right in Andrea Dascalu and boxing out the solid black shorts Victor Indaga. Dascalu originally from Romania and Indaga originally from Italy so this is a, an international contest here in Bethnal Green, London, England. The Scarlo's got a lot of fans here. We can hear them to our right hand side, banging their drums, making their presence felt. Victor and Daga in the black shorts, a very experienced fighter. Yeah, he looks very slick. Heads on, always off the line. Slipping from side to side, feet are moving all the time as well. And Daga's record, just the two wins. 77 defeats and three draws. But as you can see just in his opening moments, this contest is a very tricky customer. He's not easy to fight, throws punches from unusual angles Very awkward. Very awkward. again another, another, another journeyman but a, but a different type this time this, the, the lad we see in the first bout was more tough blocking with his arms Edgar, Edgar's um, he's very loose for a journeyman yeah, isn't he yeah, isn't yeah, he he's a, a very a um, slick, little bit more slick clever with his feet his head his head's always moving and he punches from down low, so the shots come up from weird angles. And his hands are down by his waist for most of the time as well. See, even that, that little, the little drop in with the shoulder there to get the head off the side. Very, very clever. It's like fighting a bar of soap, this is. <laughs> Pascalu's record is five victories, no defeats, two stoppages. Goes by the nickname The Boom. Just like to see him touch and tap with that front hand a little bit more. Instead of just walking in, just give, um, just give Edaga something to, um, 
think about when he's on the move. Because every time he every time he punches, he's out of the way. So this is tough, he's got his own cup. So into the second round. Um, clearly just looking at the record of these two guys. The Scalu, five wins, no defeats. And Daga, two victories out of 80 odd contests. So it's clearly who the prospect and the journeyman is. So with that in mind, what's um, the Scalu got to do to try and cut this guy down to size? Uh, it, it just needs, as he's coming in, just a little half a step back with a guy on this. Because where uh, we're at, Edgar, so, um, he, he falls in with his shoulder. If you look there, a little half a step and then work with your long arms. He's trying to walk him down behind a higher guard. He's just getting a little bit too close. Just a little bit of distance control. That's a nice right hand from the R Romanian boxer. And Daga immediately grabbed hold. That was where he needed that step back. A little half a step and then the shot's gone. Like smothering his own work. That's better for the Scarlet. He's using the pin for the front arm to keep the distance and then any shots go. That's much better. And Daga's only been stopped three times in his 77 defeats. Wow. It's a testament to his toughness and his elus elusiveness as well, I think. Oh, nice right hand, wow! And down goes in Daga, just as we were saying, he doesn't get stopped very often. Oh, that's the timing that is, isn't it? That's a fantastic right hand from Gustalo. But that, just that little bit of distance to land the right hand, punch through the target, brilliant. And here comes Gustalo, he'd love to be able to get the stoppage here now. Be a statement this if he gets the stoppage. There's a right hand again. Daga grabbing hold, trying to slow the action down. Just needs to be patient now, Piscalo. I'd like to see, well, we're, we're not fortunate enough to have a replay here, but I'd like to see, because where he does throw his head around so much, whether he's a little bit off balance as the punch landed. You know yeah, he, he could have obviously moved. moved away with, with, shot, yeah. Not to, not to it was a great right hand regardless, but his legs were pretty, pretty solid. Nice combination, head and body. A really good round for the Romanian fighter. It was a great round two for Descalu, the Romanian fighter had Victor and Daga on the canvas, which is uh, not something that happens very often. It's a really good solid jab. The Chias go up around the orc hall. That's really fast, straight punches. There's another good right hand and a left hook. And Daga looks a little bit all over the place again. That was very unlucky with that right hand. He done nice. It was a double jab, but it was more like a flick flick. And then trying to drive in a hard right hand. A shot. Referee Kira Makan giving Indaga a warning for stacking his head low and he takes another big right hand.
This is impressive stuff from Descalo, the way he's handling Victor and Daga. Very, very neat, tidy, good long shots, puts the shots to go well. I think because of Ndaga's very loose guard, I mean the straight punches are the, the ones that are finding the target. Yeah. Just straight down the middle every time. Yeah, 100% is uh, yeah, doing everything correct here. Got to lovely. Ndaga now is like a, a cat in a hot tin roof. He's just flying around the ring, not settling down at all. As soon as he does, those straight punches come firing straight at him. I think he's done about three mile in here tonight. <laughs> And Daga using every single second in between the rounds there to sit on his stool to rest his legs. And you were just saying there, Sam, before the uh, before the end of that last round, that the uppercut is a shot you think uh, Scarlo should be using, or might might be a good shot to try and bring it to play. Yeah, it's like, like, like a, 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 a sort of like a half foot, half uppercut. If you get what I mean, because his head's moving from side to side. If you time it right, he'll lean into it. He's just got to drop his legs and, and throw. As, as he leans down there, there you go, he threw it there. That was lovely. He's already warned once about ducking his head. He's done it several times throughout this contest and got away with it. The Scalu, the Romanian boxers, making things very uncomfortable in here for Victor and Daga, originally from Italy, now living in London. Even when he moves forward, Victor and Daga looks a little bit awkward and unorthodox. Ties up well on side, yeah, he's a um, very tricky customer. Which is why he's, he's um, only been stopped a handful of times. That combination's worked so well tonight for Descalo, the, the jab just followed with a straight right. And Daga moving back in straight lines, so it's, I suppose it's making it the, the obvious shots to throw. I think Descalo's done everything he can with Edgardo so far. Not many people get him on the floor, he's done a good straight right hand. Like a very stern room in there from, uh, from Kieran McCann. Yeah, Kieran McCann reading the right attack to both fighters. I've had a few of them off Kieran McCann. <laughs> <laughs> Descalo keeping the pressure on. Not letting Indaga have a moment's rest. Wild shots from Andaga, easily avoided by Descalu. And chance of Descalu going up around the York Hall. A lot of fans here tonight. Into the fifth, there must have been a really impressive performance by 
Andrea Descalu, the boxer from Romania. Had Victor Hendaga down on the canvas in the second round. As this contest has gone on, and Dagas, he's grabbing hold a lot more now. And we see it again there now. Just trying to slow the action down. Oh, he was unlucky there with the right hand. He used his feet to gain distance, but um, just missed. I mean, is, is there anything more that Descalo could be doing here now, or is it just a case of just grinding oh, out the result? Yeah, I, I, I think he's, he, he's boxing as well as you can do against someone as slippery as this. He's, um, like I say, to even get an up-down against the fella, he's, um, he's done really well, he's boxed nice, he's putting his shots together here, his work rate's good. He's not been messy, he's not been scrappy. Um, yeah, very, very solid performance from him. And like, a, lot of, um, a lot of lads early in their career would find this an absolute nightmare. And, maybe lose their temper a little bit, so he's, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's got a good one on his shoulders as well. He's got to get frustrated, he's, stayed, he's stuck to his plan, and, uh, and he's winning every exchange. Yeah, quite a few uh, prospects, sorry, have uh, struggled to look good against Victor and Daga over the years, with his elusive style and his, I'm not quite sure if you call it footwork, but just the way he glides around the ring and throws himself around the ring at times. Nice body shot. Again, Daga just grabs hold. But every telling the fighters to work their way out of the clinch. Nice left hook. It almost looks like he's dancing. <laughs> Honestly, it's Everything, like the shoulders are rolling in the way, the head's going away from the punch. A really, really effective way of staying out of the way. But it's so unorthodox. A couple of wild, wide shots from Adaga, not really effective. Shot. Good right hand. Not enough to hold off Andreas Tescalu, the 24 year old from Romania. Oh, nice left hook. Once again, referee Kira Makan tells the boxers what he expects from them. Sixth and final round. Kira Makan is the scoring referee in this one. Been really impressed by Descalo tonight. Like we were saying, I've seen so many prospects over the years look bad against Victor and Daga, but uh, Descalo's looked really impressive the whole contest. A good job as well. And Daga's not happy about something. Protect yourself at all times is the. Uh, <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> Remember that if you're boxing yeah. Sam, <laughs> don't be showing no uh, yeah. any friendliness yeah, or touching yeah, gloves. Touch, 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 touch. <laughs> there you go, that's good. Punch off the plate, little things like that. If you're going to break up someone like this, this is what you've got to do. Turn the screw, punch off the plate. If the riff doesn't shout break, when you're coming out of clinches, let your hands go. There's uh, blood around the bridge of the nose of Victor and Daga now. Now work, now work. Now work. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is really good stuff yeah, from. Really, really good. The Scalu. He's really turned the screw this round, he's done really well. Trying to bring the uppercut through the middle on the clinch. To his credit, the Scalu's actually trying to fight out of the clinch. Rather than just lean in, wait for the ref to split the fighters. Really, really good. 
jab, jab there, the jab needs to go in there. Not just walking in and forgetting that, that middle section, because then you end up falling and you're getting too close. And then he's going to get caught in a clinch. I know it's a, a pointless gesture, really, in a, such a one-sided contest, but I mean, if this was a competitive contest, I think Indaga probably would have a, a point taken off at this stage for all this holding. Yeah, I mean, the referee's uh, letting him off with a lot here, but there's not really a lot else he can do. Like we said earlier, the journeyman, they're probably fighting again next week, so if you get stopped in the pros, you get a, a, month, a month suspension, so he needs to stay in there for every second. Lovely. And Daga just just enough to stay in the contest. Good fight. Very, very good performance from Descalo. Very, very good. Really impressed by, by Descalo. And uh, Victor and Daga lives to fight another day. Thank you so much, I want to say again, thank you very much.